In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the Address Resolution Protocol, or ARP. Now, what ARP does is it provides a lookup between a Layer 3 address and a Layer 2 address. So if I've got an IP address, which is a Layer 3 address, in order to get a message to that IP address, I actually need to know what Layer 2 address to send it to, because remember, we're on the local area network, and I need a MAC address to send it to in order to get it to where it's going. When we're on the local network, an IP address doesn't actually do it for me, other than locally an IP address will serve as a lookup tool for a physical or MAC address. So I've got a capture going here. I've just been capturing some packets on my local network. I'm going to do a stop and do a filter on ARP just so we're looking only at the ARP messages. What ARP is is a two-step process. ARP sends out a who has or a request message. So I've got an ARP message here. You can actually see there's no internet protocol in here. You see we go directly from the Layer 2 protocol or Ethernet straight into the address resolution protocol, which is a Layer 3 protocol. Now, the reason for that is because I'm not actually sending messages in a way that would leave the local network. So this is a step above layer two, but I'm actually doing some lookups on layer two. And so it just kind of sits alongside the internet protocol in terms of a protocol stack. So I've got a message here, which is a who has message or an ARP request. And you can see up here, address resolution protocol request. Now, how can I tell that it's a request? For a start, I can tell it's a request because I've got an opcode that says it's a request. So request has an opcode of one. And you can see down here in the raw capture, we've got a one in that particular field. Now, the other way is because I've got a sender MAC address and a sender IP address, and we can see those here. And I've got a target MAC address of all zeros because I don't know what the MAC address is. I do know what the target IP address is. So this particular IP address has sent out an ARP request for this IP address here, the 192.168.1.30. And since I don't know the MAC address, I've left that blank. And we should be able to find an is at message and it may not actually correspond, but here happens to be an is at message. So this is a reply. You can see an address resolution protocol reply here. And again, we've got an opcode of two. And if I select that, you can see down in the raw message below, there's a two there. So that's my ARP reply. And here we've got the sender MAC address and the sender IP address. And now we've got the target MAC address filled in and of course, we've got the target IP address. So ARP, as I said, is a two-step protocol. You send out a request for the MAC address that belongs to a particular IP address, and you wait for a reply. There is a bit of a shortcut. You don't have to ask every time because we store an ARP table. So here's the ARP table for a particular system. I keep track of IP address and MAC address in an ARP table, and there would be a particular timeout for each entry here because we don't want to keep them permanently because sometimes MAC addresses and IP addresses change, and so we have to refresh these on a somewhat regular basis. We do store entries, though, to keep from having to look things up every time we want to send a network message out. This just keeps things a little bit quicker so we can keep sending messages without always having to do the ARP lookup. Now, you'll notice here as we look through this ARP protocol that there's no actual authentication. There's nothing that would stop anybody from just replying on behalf of somebody else. We'll talk a little bit more about ARP spoofing in another lesson. But I just want to point out here that this is a very simple protocol. It's just two steps, a request and a reply. There's no authentication. There's no verification. It's just a very, very simple protocol. It's designed to be fast and efficient. And that's the address resolution protocol.